In Center City, Philadelphia, 70 to 80% of the storefronts are vacant. Josh Harris's top executives say he has a $1.3 billion plan to revitalize this once thriving business district. This is a tremendous opportunity for Philadelphia. A sleek state-of-the-art basketball arena and year-round retail center for one of Harris's other teams, the Philadelphia 76ers. Harris calls it 76 Place. We walk the site of the proposed downtown arena, past many of those boarded up businesses, with Harris Blitzer Sports and Entertainment oh, yeah. Chief Diversity and Impact Center Officer and David Gould and Chief communities. Executive Officer Tad Brown. Where we can amplify and we can really help uh, kind of shift the course of where it's going at this point. It takes a lot of intentionality, um, but that's something that we're doing here and absolutely something that we'd be looking to do um, uh, in D.C. and wherever you know we, uh, we're, we're doing business. If it gets city approval, a website dedicated to the new arena project estimates it will bring more than 12,000 jobs and inject $2.3 billion into downtown Philadelphia, generating $1.5 billion in new tax revenue over 30 years. When you look at how these entertainment complexes really, whether they be stadiums, arenas, are being developed these days. It's about more than just those events that are happening on that day. We sat down with Harris's CEO inside the 76ers training facility. Brown told me his boss's model for a basketball arena, or a football stadium for that matter, is creating an economic driver for the franchise while driving the local economy too. It's about making sure that not only is this a business decision and a decision for the team, uh, for the organization. It's really something that is going to live uh, in the community here for generations. In Philadelphia, that means a $50 million community benefits agreement to lessen potential negative impacts from the new arena, adding affordable housing to the proposal, and helping to start a program called Everybody Builds, training minorities to work on large-scale development projects like 76 Place. This is an opportunity to really create generational wealth for folks who um, typically are not in a position to, to benefit from. Commanders fans should not look at what Josh Harris is proposing here in Philadelphia and think we're going to get a carbon copy of that. After all, one's a basketball arena, the other's a football stadium. So we don't know how the Commander Stadium deal will compare to the one Philly got, which includes a pledge of no cost to city taxpayers. And could all this building in Philly affect how soon we get a stadium for our commanders? Brown says no, although it remains unclear just what the timeline would be. And despite years of stadium planning by former owner Dan Snyder, the new Commander Stadium will be the vision of Josh Harris and his partners alone. They're DMV guys. I mean, that's where they grew up. And so this is incredibly important. Looking at this completely objectively and independently is going to be the way that they're going to go about it.